Hello, good evening everyone again. I am Roman Polat, um, a lecturer of the University Law Faculty in History. Uh, I have uh, come up with a topic <clears throat> today, extortionates. Uh, you might have been um, acquainted and familiarized uh, with the word extortion across the history of the human civilizations. Um, you know, our um, background of the human civilization and the history of the human civilization is full of uh, barbarism, we all know that. And the word I have chosen, extortionate, uh, you, um, we see more events in the history. The Cartesians, uh, the better figure uh, from the nation of Cartesians um, in the banks of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, they were invaded by the Romans and their country, their country was raised to the ground. And there are people who were brought to the uh, capital Rome, and they were made to fight as gladiators, and they were killed like animals. Uh, in addition to that, the um, better example is uh, the nation of Phoenicians in the history. Uh, uh, typically, they lived in a, a geographical location uh, uh, somewhere in Jordan. And nowadays, uh, this nation is completely, um, I mean, exterminated. Uh, they're gone. We have no clues of this, like Khwarezm Shahis in Central Asia. Um, this happens in the modern day as well. A nation gorges the other nation, um, extorts the cultural heritage, the history, its people, and completely gorges and mixes, mixes these nations with their own nations. Um, the better examples are, or for instance, Kurdish people. Kurds, it's a big nation. Their audience, they are divided in three, four countries. Uh, the Kurdish people are divided in Turkey. Some of them they live in Syria. Some of them they live in Iraq, and some of them live in Iran. Their faith, their culture, and their national sovereignty is completely gone. Uh, uh, the other nation that uh, faces the same problem is uh, uh, Baloch people, divided in Iran, Afghanistan, and the bigger portion is in Pakistan. They are subjected by these three countries, and this big nation. Um, again, uh, they don't have a central uh, uh, government, they have no uh, sovereignty, uh, their nations are divided and, and, and every day uh, they are losing the number of their uh, population and they mix in these two nations and they have no future. Uh, well, today uh, I would like to talk about uh, uh, a nation that faces the same kind of a tragedy, which is Pakhtun nation, divided in India, Pakhtuns in India, Pakhtuns in Pakistan, Pakhtuns in Afghanistan. Of course, we all know that on, uh, Pakhtuns were divided in between uh, by the Durand line. Uh, both sides of the Durand line, uh, the uh, Pakhtun nation uh, faces the same fate um, as the uh, Cartesians they faced uh, 2,000 years ago do during the Roman Empire. They were completely exterminated. Let me explain it and I'll tell you how. The topic for today is extortion or extortionates. There are neighboring countries, they would like to have uh, the same kind of strategies to gorge our nation and to remove the Pakhtuns uh, from the map. Um, they have cultural attacks, uh, they, uh, uh, they invade their territories, their cities, uh, their history, and, and they would like to mix them with their own nations. Um, the better examples are Iranism from the West and Pakistanism from the East. Uh, they every day encourage our young people. Um, they have uh, very powerful media. Uh, uh, they, they, they work a lot. And, and, and they try to, uh, in the, on the East of the Diran line, uh, they would like to mix the Pakhtuns, Pakhtuns of Balochistan, Pakhtuns of Pashtunistan. They want them to be mixed in the Hinduism culture. And in Afghanistan, as far as Afghanistan is concerned, these, they, there's a big uh, um, process and there's a big program of Iranism. They want to uh, Persianize these people, Iranize these people. Similar thing which happened in, in Central Asia. Russianization. Uh, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Latvia, Lithuania. Uh, they were Russianized actually. British people in the 19th century, they invaded India, Pakistan, Nepal, South Asia, uh, and Australia, I mean, half the way across the world, uh, they were uh, Britonized. Uh, uh, the British, uh, the, uh, you know, they, they want to make them British. So, uh, I would like to come up with uh, more explanations on uh, Iranism in Afghanistan. There are uh, short examples I would like to uh, put light on these, and I want the Afghan new generation to be careful, uh, to be alert and aware, 
uh, that they should understand that their nation is being destroyed and they will be um, sooner or later mixed and their nation and their culture, their language, their history, their figures will be uh, 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 completely gone and exterminated in the future. And to start with, Afghan figures, these people, especially Iran, the Persianization process and program, they have been working too long. For too long they have been trying to Persianize Afghanistan, uh, to go to Afghanistan and, 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 and exit with the uh, country of Iran. Uh, the Iranians, when the Iranians, when they, uh, uh, they observed that the Russians had started long back a process of uh, a program of uh, Russianization, the British Empire did the same thing in South Asia and Africa and half the way across the world. Later, very late, the, 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 the Iranians um, emerged and they started the same thing. They found no better uh, country to do the same thing. They came to Afghanistan. The very first thing they do is they extort the Afghan figures. To put an example of the philosopher Sayyid Jamaldin Awan, who belongs to the east of Afghanistan, he was a Pakhtun from Kunar, they say that this is Iranian, very shamelessly, and it's really funny to see that. In addition to that, uh, Ahmad Shai Abdali, who was in Afghanistan, um, Afghanistan's imperator, an emperor of Afghanistan, Pakistanis, uh, they claim that he is from Pakistan. We all know Pakistan has 50, 000, I mean, uh, 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 50 years old history. I mean, uh, six to seven decades, uh, even a century is not being completed about the history of Pakistan. Now they claim that uh, they possess this, uh, 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 this culture and they want to extort and they want to steal our culture. Uh, moreover, moreover uh, with the historical families, uh, before to talk about the historical families of the Afghanistan being extorted by these two countries, uh, about the figures, they extort and steal the Afghan figures uh, Sajjam al-Din, Iran claims this is ours, Shah Rukh Khan and the Bollywood actors who were very popularized these days, Indians claim as they are ours, Khush um, Khan uh, Khatek, I mean the Punjabi government in Pakistan, they say that uh, he is our part of the history, uh, Pakistan uh, history um, is claimed to be 50 years old, but Khush Khan Khatek lived 400 years ago, uh, it's very ridiculous to agree with them. Uh, more to the point with the historical families, uh, the Aspa family, Aspa in Pakhto language, of course Pakhto language is one of the oldest language of the world. <clears throat> the language that I speak and my students speak and the people of Afghanistan speak more than 60-65% population of Afghanistan speak this Pakhto language. Aspa is um, an Afghan family. Aspa is an Afghan family. Recently we had had uh, some documentaries and uh, uh, scripts by the Iranian authors that Aspa was an Iranian family. At the same time, they say Afghan is Pashtun. If Afghan is Pashtun, then Afghan is taken from Aspagan, the same family who ruled uh, 3,500 years ago, the Bakshia that it is Balkh, they were ruling Afghanistan and part of Iran. They were called Aspagan. Aspagan. Aspagan later on uh, squeezed to Apagan, Apagan, when the Arabs conquerors, um, uh, the, uh, the conquerors approached Afghanistan to spread Islam, Apagan, since Arab uh, uh, literature does not possess the word P and Gulf, they switched it to Afghan. So I got a question for these people, if Afghan is derived and comes from Apagan and Apagan comes from Aspagan and uh, Aspagan again is Afghan, Afghanistan is um, also in this form. Then how come Aspa family become an Iran family? When we are Afghan, you also tell us that Afghan is Pashtun, then how can Pashtuns become Iranians? It's such a shame and, and this is the big point to be noted by all the academic um, Afghan new generation, the Pashtuns. Be careful, a new generation, all the, uh, the youngsters the ladies and gentlemen, that, you know, they have uh, a baseless claim, actually. What's more with the Ghuri people, again, Ghur is a Pakhto word, it, it is taken from Ghar. Ghur is Ghar. Ghar or Gar is a mountain. The people of Ghur, they were Pakhtuns, the name is Pakhtun. 
the real center of the غلجي پشتونس ارزغو غلجي زي غرزي غرزي is like غرجي غرجي جورجيانس بادغيس بالخ غور and باميان this is the real center of the غلجي پشتونس and we do have a lot of uh, uh, clues and a lot of uh, uh, what do you call a lot of information about the غوري imperators and the emperors of غور uh, محمد غرسون غوري who invaded India and defeated Prithira Chauhan in India after uh, 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 sex invasions uh, he had previously in, um, uh, uh, conducted and he failed but last time he uh, succeeded uh, to capture India and he established the uh, uh, Afghan and Islamic um, uh, Khilafat in India. They say that and, and we all know that Ghuris belong to the Suri family. They were belong to the Suri family, the Ghuris. Uh, they shamelessly claim that Ghuris were the Iranian family. Suri, Muhammad Suri, we do remember the, uh, the history of Muhammad Suri uh, who had uh, autonomous and independent government when he was invaded by the Sultan Mahmud al-Ghaznavi. He resisted and we do have a lot of poems and the history of it in Pata Khazana Pakhto. They say, yeah, but Muhammad Suri was also, uh, uh, Muhammad Suri was also uh, 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 an Iranian uh, um, uh, individual, he was an Iranian fellow. But let me ask this question again. When Shershai Suri conducts a battle against Babur. Babur, Zahirdin Babur was a Mongolian. He was the grandson of Chinggis. When Shershai Suri emerged in India and he completely destroyed the army of Babur, the Shershai Suri is called that to be Pashtun, he's an Afghan, but the grandfather of Shershai Suri, who's Muhammad Suri living in Ghur, that's an Iranian. Again, it is so ridiculous. This is called extortion cultural invasion and we Afghan people have been so silent and so dummy that we haven't responded back. I as a teacher have come up with this to um, academically uh, explain it and to prove them wrong that your claims are so baseless and this is such a shame that you extort our culture so shamelessly and, and, and you claim that Roman Polot will be an Iran in the future too and I will not bow down my head including my people and I will try to infuse my people with the same idea. Uh, <clears throat> consequently, I suggest the uh, um, Afghan new generation uh, to be infused with an idea that God, Allah has created us uh, what we are. Allah has created us, God has created us, uh, different types of groups of the people, and he, uh, Allah gave them the language, culture, um, norms, values, history, for which they should be proud of. And these societies, cultural groups, geographical limits uh, are created um, to be recognized from each other. And uh, we believe that when there are more groups of the people with different cultural and different diversities, it gives more beautiful, likewise, a beautiful garden. When in the garden, in the orchard, there are different types of flowers, it gives more beautification. It's more beautiful. So please do not extort us. Let us be a Pakhtun and Afghan flower. So in the world family, when there's an Afghan flower, we will present our flavor of beauty. Iranians should give Iranian beauty, Pakistanis, Pakistani beauty, and, 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 and India's Indian. Let have, I mean, the world is nice and beautiful by the diversification. Please do not gorge us. And my message for the all Pakhtun young um, girls and boys in the new generation is, do not mix with them. Don't give them a chance to extort us. We are a flower. And we, we are created by God, by Allah, and we have a right. Please respect Allah, respect God for what Allah has given you, granted you. Do not disrespect Allah's grantings. Allah, God has given us language, cultural, pakol, cultural clothes, patu, language of pakto. Uh, save it, you save it, you respect Allah. Thank you, and I will come up with the next discussion next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.